YouTube. All right, YouTube, well, this is probably the last of me you'll see in the light. Off to a bit of a late start here. It's Friday, which means we can stay out late tonight, which is good, but I'm gonna see how long I can last. You look forward to this night all week long, and then you get here and you're just exhausted. I'm gonna give it my all. I got really good bait, and if we don't get them tonight, we'll get them tomorrow. That's the plan. I've heard that there there's known to be big ones in this stretch. So yeah, stay tuned and uh, see if we put a big one in the boat. All right, <clears throat> this is the new bait box. This is the new one since my old one uh, the trusty one I've had since 2018, you can see it in my videos, my Igloo Cool Breeze. I lost it, somehow ended up in the river and uh, wasn't able to get it back. So had to get a new one. And then of course we trashed it with uh, some greatest baits to ever do it. So let's get it going. Maybe we'll start off with Buffalo. Once it gets later, I'll whip out some greatest baits, but I don't know. We'll see what, we, what we're thinking. Got grass carp too, so. Hang tight, let's see what we catch. All right, here we go, YouTube. Baited up, ready to rock and roll. Let's get these baits out. Kind of an interesting evening we got here. It's mid-July and it's only, uh, it's gonna get almost a fifth in the 50s tonight. So it's really cool out. I don't know, that may kill the bite. I mean, yeah, it's just unbelievably cool for uh, July. I'm not complaining, but I usually do best when on those average run-of-the-mill days where it's hotter than shit. Got a giant on. Burning my thumb. This fish took off and literally burned my thumb on the drag. Unbelievable how hard that fish just went off. He got out in that current and just took off. I couldn't stop him. I really couldn't. That was one of the most impressive runs I've ever seen. That was insane, man. It's a big boy. Big boy for sure. Uh. 
That's a 60 right there for sure. He ain't gonna go much past that, but my god did that fish ever take some drag. 51 by 31, I can't tell you how many I've caught with that exact size. It's like it's like geez, I can't I can't escape it. With those dimensions it'll go probably uh you know probably 65. Just like I thought, 65. Look at this guy. Just an absolute beast of a fish. Smack me in the head. That's a good one, guys. It's a brand new fishing shirt, too. All right, guys, let's get them back. Well, she was ready to go. <laughs> as soon as I put her in the water, she's like, I'm out of here. Well guys, that was a good one. I'm not gonna lie, YouTube. That thing burned the out of my thumb. I mean, I picked it up, he was out in some current, and I mean, he just took off. I couldn't even, I couldn't stop him. I didn't even know what was going on, really. I was getting a bite on my other line, and uh, <laughs> holy <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> But it's only 10 o'clock, so uh, we got plenty of time. Let's uh, let's get some more baits out there. We hadn't even dug into the good stuff yet. Look at this bait. It's a big boy. I usually don't keep them this big, but sometimes you got to. A green filter makes me look really nasty. But uh, no more bites here. Sat here for about another hour. So uh, we're gonna move on. We're gonna get out of the current. We're gonna go see if they're uh, sitting back in the slack water. And if not, we'll go right back to the current. So uh, stay tuned. We got a tank right there, guys. Right there. See if we can get them. All right, guys, baits are set. We got locked in. It is dead still back here. I'm hoping that one of these big boys that are sitting in this current here, there's a little bit of current, actually. I lied when I said I was going straight to the dead water. There's just a little bit of current in here, and uh, it's kind of the perfect spot for a big one to be sitting right now. So I'm gonna wait them out. We threw some uh, delicious baits at them. So let's see what happens. You can see where this carp got grabbed, right there. Couldn't quite get the hook in his mouth. So I think it was a pretty okay sized fish, but it's just not big enough to get this though.
Well, this fish is moving with it, so I'm going to go for it. See this fish here. What a weird bite. I'm just doing his thing. Good one again. I don't know if it's bigger than the first one we caught, but it's a good fish. What a weird bite. I'm working with a f***ed up tape measure. It starts at 16. And this one will go to 61. So 61 minus 16 is uh, 45 inch. Sure is a healthy fish though. It's a good one. Oh, for a 46 pound fish, that is the fattest one you'll ever see. That thing is filled out from top to bottom. What a good fish. Come on, time to go, I know. There she goes. Well, they're biting all over the place now at this point. I mean, yeah, you know, we've gotten bites in the current, bites in, well, I shouldn't say that. There's still current back here. I keep forgetting that. So they, they're wanting the current right now. Yeah, that was pretty good fish, but a weird bite, man. Very weird. Glad I got it and set the hook on him. All right, let's get him back out there. Definitely called in the bugs too. <laughs> I had put red tape on the, my light, trying to make it turn red to keep the bugs away. But I took it off just because I'm sick of it and wasn't really working out. And <laughs> I don't know, it's a pretty, pretty good bug catcher. <laughs> anyway, so YouTube, that'll do it for today. Pretty good night on the water. Got a couple good ones in the boat, 65 and a 46. Yeah, I'm gonna go home. Uh, like I said at the beginning of this video, I'm a little exhausted. It's about 2.15 right now, so uh, I'm gonna rest up so I can hit it hard tomorrow because tomorrow I'm planning on staying out longer. So uh, yeah, thanks as always for watching guys and I'm gonna catch you on the next one.